So ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our video of Mars in the 11th house in the sign of Libra for Sagittarius Ascendant people, as in what happens when your Mars is sitting in the 11th house. Okay. And as always, if you do not know if you have this particular position, what sign it's in, what nakshatra it's in, along with all your astrological details for that, check out the links here, kirsastrology.com where you'll find my books, reports, consultations, and link to my academy, Magavid Astrology Academy. So, <clears throat> Mars in the 11th house, so the very first thing that you will see here is that your particular desires, okay, the wish fulfillment will be fulfilled by children. Your children will fulfill your wishes. Let's say, for example, you couldn't afford a Mercedes-Benz in your life. Your children will be the one buying you and fulfilling that desire for you. And specifically, this is an individual who's go who is excellent, and I'm saying excellent, at especially union unionizing people making the start of some kind of an activist group. Having the ability to penetrate into people's mind and consciousness to make them join this individual for a cause. And that's actually a quality of the Mars in the 11th house naturally. You don't even need the sign. This person is able to create a big organized you know group that will follow this command of this individual to the end whether that individual is right or not that doesn't matter but especially in libra what happens is this person comes out as soft okay comes out as soft comes out as very negotiable very impressionable but the thing is Ultimately, they're going to be the one who will not move from their fixed position of authority. Mars in the 11th also shows, especially in a female's chart. From your marriage onwards, spouse will attain big recognition, but also creates many enemies. Big enemies, competition, rivals become active. Such a spouse, okay, becomes very dual natured. They become eccentric. If, if they weren't eccentric before meeting you, before marrying you, they will become eccentric. Especially it shows either spouse comes from a far away place. Like you're on one end of the country, they're on the other. Or let's say you're in India, the spouse is in the U.S. So either they come from one end to the other or especially through this person, you go far away. And you will see whether you're a male or female. Younger brother plays the role of the older brother. Younger brother will be the one guiding you, showing you how to do things like they're your older brother. On the other hand, your expenses, investments, donations that you do will always, you will see, if you look at a pattern of 10 years, 15 years, you would have always donated to organizations that are connected with disasters. Hurricane hit, like for example, in US, North Carolina, hurricane just hit, one is on the way. You'll be the one giving to the relief of that disaster. One's investment would strongly be connected with either tech stocks, will be connected with commodities or real estate. And in commodities, okay, it'll be especially connection to uh, things like cement. Somehow you will invest in some company that will do that if you're going to be into these things. You may not be. You may never invest in your life. 
but if you do then this particular thing works out and your entire energy you will see will be focused on making your children successful you are one of those parents who are always going to be focused on what the children are doing what their grades are how they're doing in competition how they're doing in sports which is a good thing because you know when you do that your energy level rises in life your confidence rises in life your ability to discern like discernment rises in life and this is the person who will be very scientific when it comes to any form of spiritual religious beliefs like this is the person when you go to this person or when this person talks to you about mantras when they talk to you about some ancient knowledge they're not talking about like a parrot going from one information to the other repeating the information no they will be so precise they'll be like yes i have tested this i have seen into this and actually this is what it means and this is why it's working so yes it works and especially with mars in the 11th in libra such a person does very well in physics physics mathematics can come very easy to this person whenever mars is actually in a soft sign they become very good with a uh, science and physics and mathematics and numbers because there's fluidity to these particular signs there's flow in certain signs and you need flow and you can't be rigid and stop at a certain thing to be good at what you do like for example if mars is exalted doesn't mean that you are a physicist unless of course mars is supported you know by other planets but the thing is mars especially being in libra and looking or in the 11th house you know when it focuses on its own house aries one is able to grasp understanding of measurement understanding of time but they you know how they do it they do it from the most unorthodox way and this is what they remember because remember libra is a sign of venus how is venus in our solar system is there anything unique about venus sure it shines like every other planet and star out there but if you know venus is going in a reverse direction rotating reverse so when they do something mechanically and technically it's always noticed it's always given the most significant attention and people are like scrutinizing and speculating and analyzing this person's work like how did you do this how did that happen okay no here so here's your little booby my baby girl so and and you know what mars is cats i don't know if you guys know mars is cats prashna marga mars is not even rahu in certain text it's actually a cat so here's an omen for you and usually such people will enjoy and love cats so anyway guys this was my analysis of mars in the 11th house for sagittarius ascendant people if you're new to my channel subscribe below otherwise you can go to kara's uh, channel uh, karasastrology.com or my academy right bye bye